Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay Elliott with MSX Sound Design, and today I'm going to show you how to latch on fly tape effects within Beatmaker 3. So ever since the release of fly tape, some of you have been asking why you're not able to latch on any of the effects. The intention of fly tape is meant to be used in a live performance situation, typically adding different effects on the fly, hence the name fly tape. With that being said, there is a way for you to add on any of the effects by adding fly tape to an aux channel and then sending that to whatever source you would like to. So let's go take a look and see how we can do that. Alright, so before I show you how to latch on fly tape effects, let's listen to the effects that we're going to add. So, in the lo-fi effect, you have three different settings. You have 70s, 80s, and 90s. I'm going to give you guys two quick examples, and we're going to go ahead and add the 70s and 90s effect. Before I add that, let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. So here's 70s. Alright, now here's 90s. Cool. All right, so to latch on those two effects, it's really simple. So I'm just exit out of here, close that. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go here and select aux one, go to my effects window. We're gonna go add effect audio unit. And we are going to select fly tape. So let's open that up. Now you notice here on the bottom left hand corner it says show AU knob. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And what you see here is basically all the parameters for fly tape. Now if we go to this middle section, we have lo-fi and lo-fi mode. So the first window here is basically turning on and off lo-fi. And the second window over here, or the one beside it, I have my different modes. So one being 70s, two being 80s, and three being 90s. I'm just gonna leave it on three since we wanna add the 90s effect. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn lo-fi on. It's basically all set. And since it's on aux channel one, basically I could send that effect to any channel that I want by turning the send one knob up or down. Let's go ahead and play that and add the effect. Pretty dope, right? Our send knob essentially acts as our uh, dry and wet knob. But if we wanted to play with the levels even more, you can do that by playing with the aux one fader. Now we want to add the 70s effect. So we pretty much do the exact same thing, except we're going to add it to another aux channel. So I'm going to select aux 2, add effect, audio unit, go to fly tape, open fly tape, go to show AU knobs, turn on lo-fi, we want to leave it at 1 since 70s is the first one, get out of here, and now it's all set to be added to any one of my channels. So instead of the send 1 knob, now we got to play with the send 2 knob. Just turn this all the way down and we'll start to play with that. Pretty 
pretty dope, right? It's cool because the lo-fi effect has three different settings. So we're basically getting two of those settings and sending it to one channel. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section and I'll help you out. But it's pretty straightforward. Hope that helps, man. Keep in mind that you can apply any of the effects in fly tape and apply it however you want. It's really dope to incorporate these effects within your mix process. It can give your track a lot more character and also give it that real nice lo-fi sound. Now a little while ago I posted a picture on my Instagram showing this MIDI controller. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to add fly tape and lo-fi dirt's effects to multiple macros and then assign all those macros to an external MIDI controller. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace. Hand me that ox cord.